we're gonna do it this way tonight. All right, so I'm gonna play this Christmas, but I'm gonna put a little spin on it because I was working on this beat. I'm gonna see what y'all think about it. All right, here we go. That's enough, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough, that's enough. I'm just up here messing around. I was like, yo, I, I created this beat for something else. But while I was working on the beat, I was like, yo, I could flip this and make this do something else. So just try some stuff out. You know how it is. You're in a creative mode, you're in a creative space. and you. Just, oh my God, I just dropped y'all. <laughs> I'm trying to create some uh, cool vibes. So yeah, that's definitely what's going on. So let's go back and look at some of these comments. There was some good stuff going on. You're the best. Carrie's killing it. Carrie, oh man, not again, not again. Nice, cool. I was just playing things I learned from earlier. Sweet. Uh, them double stops. Yep. Um, hey Carrie, this has been such a blessing. 
um, um, by the videos in Carrie's Corner. That's what's up. New intro. Nah, so the new intro, uh, this is not the new intro. This is just me playing some holiday music. Like I said, we know Christmas is right around the corner, so definitely we're just playing some uh, some cool stuff. I signed up for the course an hour ago. Welcome to the camp. Let's go. Yes, yes, you better play. Can you do a lesson on your intro video? Nah, I'm not going to do no lesson. Nah, we'll, we'll think about it. Uh, too good, smooth. Uh, yes, sir, nasty. Go, bruh. Ooh-wee. So what's up, bro, from Italy? That's what's up. I really appreciate your style and the playing uh, method and definitely. Um, that's what's up, what's up, what's up, bro? Carrie, I'm a new camper. Welcome, Jessica, welcome. Man, I'm trying to learn uh, on my own, but I guess it takes some time to getting my, my fingers to act right. So Freeman, if you're really trying to learn how to play guitar, man, I'm telling you, you have a couple hours, man, and then the deal is gonna go away. But uh, for right now, um, you can join Carrie's camp and have me help you learn how to play a guitar the way that you want to play. Um, for six months, you can join for $97. And um, all you need to do is go to carriescamp.com. That is K-E-R-R-Y-S-K-A-M-P.com. That'll definitely help you. So um, you should definitely do it. Hey, Carrie, um, how you so how do you apply soloing in your playing? Because I have trouble with that. If you have trouble with that, you should definitely sign up to Carrie's Camp because we talk about soloing and so much more inside of Carrie's Camp. You only have a couple hours left. Um, go to k e r r y s k a m p dot com slash one hundred. You should do it now because I'm telling you, I can show you how to solo, and I'm not going to show you. Oh, you should play this, and I'm going to just play this. I'm going to show you to play the same exact way that I play without any restrictions because that's what it's all about. Okay, we'll do. I'm looking forward to having you inside of the camp. You know what I'm saying? What's the best scale to learn for gospel? Uh, there is no best scale to learn for gospel. And gospel is one of those um, genres that is like really fluid. You're gonna have to be really. You're gonna do. It's gonna require you to do a lot of work. But the great thing about Carrie's Camp is we have the gospel masterclass where I'm, I'm talking and I'm showing you how to do it. Whether you play in a traditional church, whether you got like quartet, whether you got some CCM, I'm showing you how to navigate how to play with that. You know what I'm saying? So you should definitely want to check that out. Um, like I said, we only got a couple more hours left before. And I'm really pushing this because again, the, the price is never this low. And even when I was doing one-on-one -on -one personal lessons, I was never doing it for this low for $97. Like, So I'm telling you right now, for six months, you can get in. And if you put in the work in six months, you're going to see great strides in your plan. There were people that joined Carrie's Camp like over the other night a couple of days ago, and they're already starting to see success in their plan because they're applying the principles. They're just like, wow, I didn't even realize... Some guy was like, man, I thought I was like at this level, but I realized, man, it's a, it's a lot for me to grow. And that's what it's all about, helping you guys grow. What's your favorite amp to use for singer calls and why? Um, honestly, I like the Mesa Boogie um, Lone Star. I think that that's a, it's a great amp. It's good, clean, it's good, crisp, depending on what kind of pickups you have. And definitely you can hear the clarity. You know what I'm saying? I actually signed up for the gospel one on Carrie's camp. That's what's up. That's what's up. So there is no... Um, when it comes to gospel, you need to know the major scale. That's one of the ones that's going to definitely help you out. And it would definitely be beneficial if you learn the minor penance. But learning those scales. How many lessons per month? Derek, you're saying how many lessons are in Carrie's camp per month? Is that is the question that you're asking? Because I want to make sure I'm answering that, that one correctly. Um, one more thing. Should I buy an acoustic guitar or just learn on my electric? Learn on your electric. You don't have to buy an acoustic guitar. Or learn on your electric. The principles are the same. Now, some of the techniques are different, but when you watch the courses, I'll talk about the techniques when you're playing on an acoustic guitar. Derek, there are over 600 video lessons in Carrie's Camp, not counting the master classes, not counting the, the different like um, Carrie's Corner and all the different kind of stuff. And I'm constantly adding videos to the site daily. Like I'm working on videos every week to add videos. So it's not like, oh, we just tap out at 600 and that's it. There's enough content that's gonna get you right and you won't feel like you're, you're like being neglected. And if you join now on Wednesday, all of the campers will be on, we're going to do a live Q and A. And so I'll be introducing the new, camp, new campers that are coming in. We'll welcome you into the fold. We'll have a live Q and A, I'll answer questions and I'll stay on until all the questions are answered. What is the best way to sign up? Ronnie, the best way to sign up is to go to carriescamp.com slash 100. That is K-E-R-R-Y K-A-M-P dot com slash 100. That's the best way to sign up. You do it now. I'm telling you, you only got a couple more hours, man, and we closing the doors. You know what I'm saying? The dirt, the doors of the church are going to be closed. You, amen? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, who are some of your guitar heroes? John Jubu Smith, Eric Walls, Tim Stewart, um, Kevin Wilson, myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a couple different people. 
let me go ahead and buy this course. Yeah, you should definitely do that. You should definitely do that ASAP. Hey, Carrie, how are you? We talked about the solo in question. Uh, Carrie, when it comes to phrasing R&B, should we always look to use the minor pentatonic? Um, is most R&B in a minor key? So um, just because it's in a minor key doesn't mean that it's like you can't relate it to a major key. And you shouldn't always use the minor pentatonic. Now, the, the minor pentatonic is just if you're having a brain fart, you don't know where else to go to kind of create your own riffs, you can dig in there. But I'll show you ways with phrasing how to make it not sound like it's a scale. That's the trick of it. So the minor pentatonic has so much gold in it, but I don't want you to be fixated in learning the patterns to make it sound like it's a scale. Okay, and just because an R&B song is in a minor key doesn't mean that you can't relate to a major key. I relate everything to a major key, so that way I'm always using the same format and formula. And it's the universal language that most people are doing when they're talking about music, okay? Any advice for a good portable amp? Easy power is not easily accessible at my work. Most battery power amps surge. Uh, if you're having that kind of issue, I would say get an acoustic guitar. Go invest into an acoustic guitar. Uh, you are probably... You are probably don't laugh out loud, but yeah, I, I missed that one. Um, my boy, your inspiration I just found out about you today. Oh man, I appreciate that, appreciate that. Okay, um, okay, thanks. You probably, since you probably not me by Reg Reggie, you probably me by Reggie. Okay, cool, I just came, I just changed my YouTube ch uh, channel name. Okay, cool, that's what's up. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Um, let's go back and look at some other stuff. Okay. I think I'm caught up. Do you listen to John Jubu Smith? Yes, I listen to John Jubu Smith. I listen to Legally Blind. I follow um, John Jubu Smith. I met him several times in person. He actually played on some of my amps, and he's used one of my guitars. What up, ma'am? What up, man? That's what's up. Does your chorus help those who... Don't know the certain lingo? Yes, that's the whole point. Like we, we, I make it like almost fail proof. That's the whole point. Like I, I put the lessons in such a way that they're easily digestible. They're direct to the point, and you can rewind them. You can pause them. You can do whatever you need to do in order to make sure that you get it. And there's more than enough content that's going to definitely suffice your appetite, your attitude, and your appetite to make you make sure you straight mentally, um, emotionally, in your soul whenever you play it. Because a lot of guitar is not up here; it's in here. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people get in here and get in that headspace and don't know how to get out of there to play the way that they want to play. And so they're hitting this block, you know what I'm saying? Um, you use three fingers or four fingers while phrasing on the 12th fret. Uh, it just depends. A second day for Carrie's Camp, and I'm loving it. Oh man, that's what's up, King Finesse. Let the, hey, let the people know how Carrie's Camp is helping you out, seriously. You know, you're on day number two, you just signed up the other day, letting people, let the people know how Carrie's Camp is helping you transition and really grow and expanding your craft. That's what it's all about, man. It's, seriously, that's what it's all about. Somebody says, so smooth. All right, Oscar. Definitely, definitely. Let's go back and look at some of these other things. Oh, Rhett, what up, bro? What up, Rhett? How you doing, man? Yo, listen, Rhett is a phenomenal guitarist. If you guys have like, if you want to know anything about like gear and all types of stuff, Rhett is that guy. And Rhett is one of the reasons why I moved to Atlanta, man. I remember we were at NAMM and he was like, yo, um, you should, what, what are you thinking about Atlanta? I was like, I don't know, I'm thinking about Nashville. He's like, yo, you should definitely come to Atlanta. And I bought a house, bro, I'm here. So we need the link, you know what I'm saying? We need the link, bro, we need the link. Is there a riff library? There's a riff library. There's a there's a chord library. There's a, a lick library. There's a whole bunch of stuff inside of Carrie's Camp that's really gonna get you straight. Yeah, bro, Rhett, you listen. First of all, I value your opinion because number one, you're a solid guy. You're a solid player, so I know you know what you're talking about. So yeah, you were one of the reasons I was like, yo, let me go ahead and get a house here in Atlanta. So definitely, Rhett, definitely. I signed up this year um, in February for Carrie's Camp. And I progress more than I ever have in three years. That's what's up. Any recommendations on a cheap and good practice amp? So uh, you got like stuff like the Fender. You got those Mustang amps that are like those digital amps you could probably get. You got like uh, hot rods that you could probably get. And you could probably find some stuff like on eBay or Reverb. Oh, this town is much cooler than Nashville. I read, I completely agree, bro. I completely agree. On Carrie's camp, do you 
hear other campers playing? Yes, you can hear other campers playing. There's a um, there's a forum for all of the campers to go talk and share videos, trade ideas. You can hear other people playing. Um, what are your recommendations for tracking guitar in, into a DAW's plugin or hardware? So for me, I use I definitely use plugins, right? Um, and sometimes I just use straight pedals to guitar. That's what I do. So matter of fact, let me let me do this, so y'all can hear. Um, I go straight in, right? So I, I, I use my Boss Me 80 and I go direct in. So this is what I did. Like, this is a record that I played on a couple days ago, right? So you guys hear it. Straight guitar, straight into my, my Me 80, going to my interface. That was the solo that I was doing. All right, that's enough of that juice. That's enough of that juice. I can't let y'all have too much of that juice. But yeah, um, I just use Logic. I go straight in. Sometimes there are times that I use plugins just to pin, but that was just me going straight. You know what I'm saying? Uh, any recommendations on a good um, humbucker? I have a Gretsch. Um, for me, I love Lambertone. The Crema is just is one of my favorite um, pickups. I mostly play quartet. Does your lessons help with that? Ronnie, I have a whole quartet breakdown in the Gospel Masterclass. You need to go check it out. So for sure. Yo, Carrie. Yo, I might get Carrie's Camp. Sounds like a nice community. How much will it be after today? So Milk Toast, um, if you could please email me at support at carrie2smooth.com because I don't want to forget who I talked to specifically. And you can send me that question. And I'll answer for you. Um, it says, oh, okay, hi, Jessica, since you just joined, take some time to explore the inside. It says, use the search tab in the future if you're looking for a specific lesson. All right, your favorite um, electric strings, acoustic and electric. So acoustic, these are Diodarios. I'm not endorsed by Diodarios, but this is what I play. Um, and then for electric, this is what I play. What I'm using. Um, Good question. I'm thinking about changing the bridge pickup on my Strat. Any recommendations? Ham, uh, the Lambertone Crema. That's what I have um, that I, I feel is the best combination is the Lambertone Crema. Um, how do you feel about orange amps? Orange amps are okay, but it's like it's like that British crunch, and I'm not, when you're playing R&B for me, it's, it doesn't really provide for me that kind of warmth and tone that I want. Now, if it's like a pop gig, Hands down, I like orange, but like if it's not really a pop gig, then I'm not using orange. All right, whenever, or says, for whatever reason, I pray for my church, um, and when they tell me to do a solo <laughs> while we're playing, I get nervous and I'm stuck. Uh, any recommendations? So if you're if you're having issues with that, I'm telling you, you want to look and really focus in on the um, the solo and riff lessons inside of Carrie's Camp, that'll definitely help you really unlock the fretboard and understand how to expand and really work on that ear training. That stuff is really going to help you because it all works together. You know what I'm saying? Greetings from the Philippines. That's what's up. Um, can you vouch for cremas thick? Oh, can vouch for the cremas thick like normal humbuckers, but have a brightness? Definitely. That's all I'm telling you. I'm playing. I, so this solo that you hear right now, I, this guitar, I'm using the crema pickup. It's got a nice crunch, it's warm, I'm telling you, Krim is kick butt, I'm telling you. It just depends on what kind of guitar you got, King Finesse. You know what I mean? Depends on what kind of guitar. Like, are you looking for it to really like melt the paint off the walls? Then maybe you want to go four wires. If not, you may go two wires. It says, if you had to pick between the acoustic or the electric, what would you pick? I Listen, I don't have to pick. <laughs> the gig will dictate what I have to play. You know what I mean? So I have all of them. So I don't ever have to pick. That's a good question, but I don't have to pick. Um, how do I get really uh, just distant sound of my guitar, like a smooth, 
uh, clean and really cut off. So if you want to know that, you need to sign up to Carrie's Camp and go check out my tone package where I'm talking about how you get your tone, how you work on your tone. Um, you need to do it now because in a couple of hours we're shutting the doors and you can't get into this rate. The rate is $97 for six months. All you need to do is go to carriescamp.com slash 100, K-E-R-R-Y-S, K-A-M-P dot com slash 100. Uh, what do you think about a diamond uh, sector guitar? I've never played one. Are Fender amps good for R&B? Uh, yeah, they, they can be good for R&B. I'm just saying, if you have the money to kind of spend and splurge a little bit, I wouldn't really recommend it. I, I would recommend, I like Bad Cat. Um, I like uh, Mesa Boogie. Um, if you're looking for a solid state that's really good, Quilter makes some really good products. Um, that makes some really good amps. I am practicing the pentatonic scale, major and minor daily, and we'll play them well. But I go to solos, it sounds like choppy and forced. So Nokia, if you sign up for Carrie's Camp, let me show you how to solo. So we have a whole course on inside of Carrie's Camp, and that can really help you to make it more fluid and work on your phrasing. So go to K-E-R-R-Y-S, K-A-M-P dot com slash 100. Now, you only got a couple hours to jump in um, for six months at $97. So I'm trying to tell you this is a crazy deal because you're not going to find any place like this with this much value for $97 for six months. It's just not going to happen. It's not in the market. Are Marshall amps good? Yeah, Marshall amps are good, but if you're playing pop music, they're not really meant for R&B. So it's a it's a bigger platform, like it's an arena type of amp. Even when they're a little small, solid states they are not very warm, um, in my opinion. Do you produce too, or just session work? I produce as well. I mean, you can Google me and see. I got a lot of production credits. So I've done all types of stuff. Uh, do, 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 Somebody said, feeling yourself? I'm always feeling myself. I'm, I'm hella confident. I work hella hard to, like, get to the place I'm at. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to always feel myself. I'm never not going to be, like, I'm like Kobe Bryant, bro. Like, have you ever, that mama mentality? I feel the same way on guitar because I put in the work. I put in the time when most people are asleep, I'm up practicing. When most people are like, you know, chilling, watching TV, I'm up practicing, making sure I'm good on my craft. So I put in a lot of work. So definitely confidence is, I don't lack any kind of confidence when it comes to me playing guitar. And if I'm introduced to some new material, I'm gonna work really hard to make sure I, I'm, I'm, because I have a name, I made a name for myself and I wanna make sure every time I play, every time I'm doing something, it's at my best ability. You know what I'm saying? Uh, love you. Keep up the good work. Appreciate it. Are Line 6 amps good? In my opinion, no. I wouldn't prefer to get a Line 6 amp. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you play a green PRS in the Lamar Campbell video. Do you still have it? No, I sold it to one of my campers uh, because it was a custom 24. And honestly, it just felt a little thin in the sound for me. And it's a limited and I didn't want to change the hardware on it. So I just felt like it was better to just sell it and give it to somebody that I really wanted the guitar. Have you ever collab collaborated with Nicholas V? Uh, yes, I've collaborated with Nicholas V. We were all played on a, a platform with Pickup Jazz several times. Um, I know Nicholas is, is very well. Um, he used to call me um, before, after he was getting ready to graduate Berkeley and was asking me how it was in LA. And we talked several times. That's a good friend of mine, you know what I'm saying? What about Marshall Ants for a gospel? Johnny, no. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Uh, cool, thanks. All right. What's the best R&B amp? Are you a fan of Vox? I am honestly not a fan of Vox. I feel like they're too bright. Any kind of British tone, amp, or whatever, I'm I'm really gonna kind of steer away from when I'm playing R&B. Now, if I'm playing like a pop gig, then I'll definitely go for like a British tone. But like, I want a warmer sound, I want a warmer feel, and Vox doesn't give it to me. Literally, if it's not a Bad Cat, if it's not a Mess of Boogie, if it's not a Fender DeVille, then I, nine times out of 10, I'm kind of straying away from it. I've played some stuff like Bogner's pretty cool. You gotta find the right one. Uh, I played a couple other amps, but those are the ones that I prefer. 
I'm currently have a black star. What is a good amp for R and B music? Uh, like I said, you have a mess of boogie. You've got Bad Cat. You've got um, some Fender Devils, some Fender Twins. Silver Face are really good for R and B. Dr. Z, yep, that's a really good amp. I used that for a session when I was um, in LA. Some very powerful, dope amps. Um, when you and Isaiah Sharkey are gonna get on guitar together, we've done stuff plenty of times, but we played live, so we've done plenty of stuff together live. Um, how long do you practice and for what's your practice routine? So Benji, um, my practice routine is different every day, so it depends on if I'm getting ready for a gig, if I'm getting ready for a session, if I'm just practicing for the sake of practicing. Um, I'm very disciplined in how I want to go about it. Like, so let's say I've got a, a gig coming up on like the uh, a church gig on the 12th. I have 20 songs to learn. So every day I'm probably going to work on five songs a day. I'm going to chart them out. I'm going to figure out like, okay, cool, what key they're in, what parts. I'm just going to make like little small notes for myself so I make it easier for myself. That's what I do. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm working on stuff like that. And then occasionally I'll just have like a moment where I like an hour or so where it's just like, me unwinding, just kind of playing whatever. And I'll do social media content during that particular time. How does it feel to have a daughter? It's a great feeling. It's different from having my sons, um, but it's a, it's a good feeling. You know what I mean? Are you playing right now? Sorry, I'm new to this channel. What do, what do you mean by playing right now? What's a good amp for gospel? Um, if you're going to play in church, I mean... <laughs> Depending on what kind of church and what size, I mean, I, I say Fender DeVille's are really good. Can you start posting performances? Seeing the performances with you and Nick V uh, would be dope. Go to Pick Up Jazz. Just go to Pick Up Jazz. And I'm not doing any kind of performances for real, for real. Most of my stuff is virtual unless it's like... I'm, the only reason why I'm doing this church thing is because, number one, uh, it's a good friend of mine from Birmingham. And also, kind of to get my feet wet, I, I stopped playing at church uh, when I moved here from L.A. Diego, so the main emphasis is when you go to Carrie's camp is to really, do, there's enough lessons that's going to help you. Now, if you're struggling sometimes, then maybe a one-on-one -on -one situation, but I don't want to push that because um, the main focus is really, there's so much information that you probably get, you're, get your question answered if you go look at the lessons and you can search which one specifically will help you. But from time to time, I will do a one-on-one -on -one session. Um, but we do a live Q&A where I, I teach the, all the people that decide they want to join. I record them and I put them also in Gary's camp. So if you happen to miss it because of work or because of life, whatever, you can go back and reverse it at your own time. What's up, Carrie? They delivered my Squire Jaguar today. That's what's up. This thing is dope. I also just joined Carrie's camp this morning. I can't wait to see the guitar, bruh. Can't wait to see it. Uh, what do you think about training a 58 reissue uh, Les Paul for a 19? Yo, if you love it, I like it. If it feels good, if it makes sense, I mean, honestly, you just, you're the one that's on the ground. I have to look at the guitar, see what it sounds like, what it feels like. You know what I mean? I'm not selling any gear. It's not happening. All the stuff I got now is what I'm keeping. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just signed up. Can't wait to see where I am in six months. Listen, it's if you put in the work, you're going to see so much growth. Matter of fact, you, it may not even take you six months to start seeing growth because depending on how dedicated you are and how much time you put in, you're going to definitely see growth. So I'm excited about having you to the camp. So welcome to the camp. I've been watching Carrie's Corner all day. Thanks, man. That's what's up. That's what it's all about. D.D. Jr., I don't know him personally. Like, we've we've done some stuff for the same platform, but I don't know him personally. Honestly, I think what he does is cool. Um, if I'm just going to keep it real, I don't think it's necessarily doable on the types of gigs that I play for the type of artists that I play. But, you know, it's a cool concept, what he's doing on guitar. Um, after how many years did you feel like you had gotten the breakthrough on guitar? Honestly, Ben, um, it probably came from me. So my, my life was different. My course was different. I joined the military when I was 17. So I stopped playing guitar consistently. I only played when I had time. So for me, I got out of the military when I was like 27. 
Uh, so I, I would say that's probably when I started to put more focus and more attention to detail and really, no, I got out of the military when I was like 25. So it was probably more when I put in more focus and more attention to it and I was able to really focus. So I would say then, cause I knew exactly what I was playing. A lot of times I could play by ear and I could play by feel. I just didn't know what I was doing. It sound good, but I didn't know what I was doing. So when they would be like, yo, we in the key of A, I wouldn't know what it was. I would just try to be like, I have to slide up the neck of the guitar and figure out what key and be like, oh, okay, cool. Try to listen to it a couple of different passes and try to figure out doodle around and, you know, not really playing. But then when I figured out what it was doing, I would just play what I felt. Didn't really know what I was doing. So once I understood the chords, understood the licks, understood the notes, then it started to make a lot more sense to me. You know what I mean? What's up from Brazil? Okay. Um, specifically, especially any tips. If you're trying to do BB King, um, BB King is all about phrasing and all about vibrato. Simple lines, simple placement. Placement is everything. You mentioned uh, PRS Custom 24. Um, it's kind of thin. I have an SE version. Uh, would Cremas help? Yeah, the pickups, yeah, Cremas would definitely help. I'm just saying the overall tonality for the pickups that, that PRS comes with for a Custom 24 were kind of thin, so... Do you have any recommendations or comments about D'Angelico Premier Atlantic? I've never played the Premier Atlantic, but the Premier lines are a lot better than the, um, I forget what the, the other line that they have, so. Cool. Uh, what's the best way to go from be becoming a bedroom musician to actually working in the industry? Diego, um, number one, working on your craft, networking, um, moving to the city where the work is at. That's the best way. And just realize it's going to be a grind and then you need to have yourself financially stable for a minute because depending on where you move, like if you move to LA or New York or to Dallas or Atlanta, wherever the case may be, you're going to have to, it's going to, it's going to take a minute for you to get on. So you're going to, you're going to need those resources. Have you used Super Amps? Yeah, I played them when I went to, uh, to NAMM. There's one that I really like. I forget the actual, uh, the brand of that, the actual name of that amp, but that amp from Supra was definitely dope. Uh, when playing live, is it best to mic an amp or to go straight DI? So DI for acoustic, definitely. Um, if you have a good engineer, they know how to mic the amp, then mic the amp. Now, if you have the Helix, you can mic the amp and you can also go direct. There's two XLR outs on the front. That's why I like to use the Helix when I'm playing live because you can mic and go straight to the board. That's, so that's something I highly recommend if you're able to do that. But if not, if you're not able to do that, then I would just say like, mic the amp. Just make sure like the mic placement is good. Is it possible to add how you use the switches carry on the way the jack i don't know if the jaguar has those switches if it does have the switches then yeah you I'm, you'll be able to use it the same way as you do on a jazz master uh thanks carrie i'm about to head out thank you for the info you're the best to ever play i appreciate that appreciate that i bought a all rose with neck um pro last year what do you keep your necks from drying out how do you keep your necks from drying out there's like um certain kind of oils you can get or you can keep the room with the humidifier in there um i've seen some people do that uh, says, do you ever send loops? I send loops all the time for different producers, but you know, I mean, you got you, you pay for what you what you get. So, if they're you know have a good relationship or whatever, that stuff that I just played a few minutes ago was one of the loops that I send to a producer. Sorry, one last question. I've always been a bedroom guitarist, intermediate, but I don't have the confidence uh, to go out there and play. What would you advise to master that? So, if Ben. I would suggest signing up to Carrie's Camp and let me help you become confident by knowing exactly what you're doing. So right now is the time to join because in a couple of hours, we're going to go back. There's not The sale that I have on, the deal that I have on is like for $97 for six months. So go to carriescamp.com slash 100, K-E-R-R-Y-S-K-A-M-P.com slash 100, okay? What interface do you use when you're recording tracks? So I right now I have the focus right. That's what I'm using. Um. 
is the normal 300 bucks for access a one-time thing or annually? So Ed, email if you could for me, um, support at keepmoving.com just so I can make sure um, I'm keeping track with who um, I'm, I'm talking to because a lot of stuff in the little live gets lost. Just signed up, that's what's up. Tubes or transistors, why? It's all personal preference, I have both. I mean, it's all personal preference. Like I have some quilter amps that are solid state that sound amazing. I have this bad cat back there that sounds amazing. So it's all depend to what you like. And right now I don't like to carry all that heavy stuff with tube amps. So that's why I like a good solid state that sounds great. Can you explain what you mean by mic placement? All right, so inside of every microphone, there's a cone. So I'll use my monitor to kind of like help you understand. So you see that cone in the monitor, right? So you want to place the mic so that way it's getting the best sound. You don't want to have it placed up here or placed down here. So mic placement. So whoever's your, your sound guy, who's ever placing your mic, you want to find the sweet spot so you make sure you're catching the, the best tone from your amp. Um... Who would you recommend noiseless pickup strats? Um, Lambertone, they have the triple shot, I think are phenomenal. That's what I have in my guitar, so I don't have to worry about any kind of hums or anything like that. What mic would you use to mic an amp? So Diego, I'm not an engineer, so I can't really tell you. Um, I've had all types of mics put on my amps. Some are better than others. I think uh, I've seen SM57s, other, I'm not, like I said, again, I'm not an engineer, so I don't know which are the best, but it just depends, you know? Man, I love hearing you play. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. I have five guitars. I don't know how to play at all. <clears throat> I've had a hard time with video lessons. They go too fast. Well, T-Dub, if you sign up to Carrie's Camp, not only will I show you how to play, but the video lessons, you can stop them, you can pause them, you can slow them down. We have that, that capability on our lessons and plenty of people from all walks of life, all different types of journey have signed up to Carrie's Camp and are starting to see amazing growth in their playing. And that's what I promise you that can happen if you apply yourself. So we, we take the time to really show you and help you really become like, the most solid guitar player that you want to be. Like your your desire may be just to play around your house. I don't know, or you may want to play out live, whatever the situation in case may be, I will show you how to do that. Um, the lessons are are in such a way that like you can understand and you can digest them and it won't overwhelm you. You know what I'm saying? What's the best way to come up with a great idea for songwriting? If you can hum the melody, then I think you may have something. Um, I think that's what you, what you can do. Can you recommend a good lick book for jazz and blues. William, um, no, I, I don't know any good lick books for jazz or blues. Is there um, an ideal pickup type for rhythm guitar? Nope. Here for the nuggets, love you, Carrie. Appreciate it, Joshua, appreciate it. T-Dub, the camp is spot on. Listen, the people are speaking, T-Dub. You better listen to, the, to listen to your peers, man. They trying to tell you. Now is the time to jump in because in a couple hours we're, we're shutting the doors and you can join now, right now for six months at $97. And I'm telling you, I've said this before, I'm, I've am i never done a one-on-one -on -one session or had other people do one-on-one -on -one sessions where they're teaching somebody um, even for an hour for $97. And the, the value that you get, all the content that you get inside of Carrie's Camp is going to, you're going to be like, man, like a kid in a candy store. It's definitely going to help you. So listen to your peers, man. They, they know what's up. Signing up with King. That's what's up. That's what's up. Favorite mayor song? Um, mm, I don't know. He's got so many good ones. You know what I mean? So I don't have a favorite one. He's got so many good ones. Favorite guitar of all time? I don't have a favorite gu guitar of all time. There are mad nuggets in Carrie's camp. Listen, the, the, the campers are telling y'all, listen, the people that are inside the room that know what's up, they letting y'all know. You know what I'm saying? Is a Rowwood strap better than a maple? It depends. It depends. I have both. 
Um, it's all about feel. How does it feel in your hand? Neither one is better. It just depends on what you like and what, what it feels like. You know what I'm saying? Favorite guitarist of all time is me. I feel like I'm that guy. <laughs> I'm my favorite. You know what I mean? Humble answer. I'm speaking facts, bro. I, just, I mean, if you knew where I came from to where I've grown, and if you've seen the, the stages that I've played on and like all, all of the things I've done in my career, I'm my favorite guitar player, hands down. My neighbors let me know uh, the guitar is too loud. Headphone uh, recommendations. You probably want to get some noise canceling headphones. Um, so like some different kind of inner monitors or something like that. Or Beats. Beats are some good headphones that you can do. Carrie's the new Jimmy. I wouldn't say I'm the new Jimmy. I'm the I'm me. You know what I mean? I'm not like anybody else. I'm, I'm me. What do you think about Melanie Faye? Melanie Faye is super dope. She's a good friend of mine. She will reach out for me time to time and ask me questions about, like, yo, how do you do this? What do you think about this? I even had her at Carrie's Corner for Carrie's Camp. Like, so Melanie Faye is a good friend of mine. What up, dude? I'm back. Yo, confidence is 100. That's what's up. You have to be confident. Jessica, like, you know, you put in the work. Like, I'm telling you, like, I may not be the best guitarist in the world, but I will outwork any other guitar player, hands down. does not matter. I feel like Will Smith. Will Smith said something one time to me, like, like he, the way that he trains, the way that he works, he'll just, he won't stop. And that's how I feel I am for the same way. You know what I mean? I work super hard. I want to get in the studio with you. How does one get in the studio with you? Right now, I'm not doing anything with anybody in the studio. Like, you can send me some stuff or we could talk about it and we could work that way, but like, you can't physically get in the studio with me right now because I'm not, I'm not doing that right now. Keep it going, keep it going. For sure, for sure. Would love to work with you someday. Let's do it, let's do it. Like, email me directly, carrytoosmove at gmail.com and let's talk about it. I've learned more in one year as a camper than I have in three years. That, listen, the people are trying to tell y'all, listen. And I'm only letting y'all know because it's like you have gold in your hands, but sometimes like the guitar is gold. The guitar is a gold, right? But if you don't know how to use it or play it effectively, it's just like you don't know the value of what you have in your hand. And I'm here to show you how to do that, how to really un unpack it and unlock it and play the way that you want to. Who's in the Buffalo area and wants to shed? Carry on networking. That's the way to do it, Mark. That's the way to do it. Any Nerdy Tunes arrangements in the works? Nah, Derek, there's no Nerdy Tunes arrangements in the works. Everybody's playing for somebody right now. You know, you got Sean. Sean's doing his own thing, um, working on his own music but he so was playing before COVID hit was playing for D Smoke that won the um the Netflix thing or whatever you got Jamal who's playing for LMA um T Ray's playing for Flow Rider I forget what uh the other keyboard player is doing you know we're all working you know what I'm saying recommendations for arranging a song uh don't take away from the song enhance the song that's what that's what I would have for you Last thing, you helped me more than my teacher that came out of my house. That's what's up. Uh, do you have any bass covers or videos? The guitar is hard for me. Well, so far as bass is easier, it's only four strings. So I don't have any bass videos, but the concept for learning bass is essentially like the same for guitar. Now you may have to do a few more things for chords, but learning the notes and playing the same way is the same for guitar. Where do you recommend selling guitars when you, you want to move on uh, to a different one? Um, eBay, you can do eBay, you can do Reverb, you can do Marketplace on Facebook. There's a whole lot of different ways to kind of get the word out there to let people know you're trying to like, you know what I'm saying, sell a guitar. Uh, can you give me a shout out one day? That would be cool. Uh, Russell Asar, is that how you say it? Like, Not to my brain, <laughs> I will keep trying. So you just need somebody to help you, to give you the lessons. And that's what I'm telling you, I'm here to help you really unpack. And 
I'm one of these guys that show you how to play to where like it doesn't matter if you are having a hard time comprehending. I will show to you to like help you understand exactly how to unlock what you're doing. We've had plenty of players, even people with different languages, and I've helped them out. If I can figure out how to speak different languages and connect with them, I'm sure I can help you. Who are you gonna have uh, for the upcoming master class? I've got a few people that I'm trying to reach out to. So I don't wanna give out names because if it doesn't fall through, then like it'll be like, oh my God. But I got a couple cats. Uh, let's just say, you know what? This person has played for Rihanna. This person has played for Lady Gaga. This person has played for Marvin Sapp. I'm trying to get him. I'm trying to get him. I'm trying to wear him down to see what, what he'll say. You know what I mean? What pedals do you recommend um, in a session? whatever is needed for the session. Uh, any tips on improving strumming? Uh, yeah, Chuck29, um, you should sign up to Carrie's Camp so I can show you how to do it. You only got a couple hours to jump in at, for six months at $97. Go to K-E-R-R-Y-S-K-A-M-P dot com slash 100. It is hard to follow videos for me personally. I need someone next to me, finger placement mainly. I understand that but, and, and I, listen, you can slow the videos down. I've had plenty of people say the same thing and they, um, they're seeing so much growth in their playing. So again, I can only tell you, it's up to you to, to decide if it's going to work for you. I mean, I've had plenty of people with that same um, mentality, that same kind of rhetoric and we've changed it. You know what I mean? How do I get myself uh, from plateauing? Um, so JDDS, you need to join Carrie's Camp and I can show you how to do that. K-E-R-R-Y-S-K-A-M-P dot com slash 100. You can get in right now for $97 for six months. How good of an investment is the Boss ME80? It is a great investment. It is a great investment. You, you, will, not, you will not be displeased with it at all. So Mark says, Keisha, watch the videos uh, first of all, all the way through, then attempt to pick up the licks. Got it. It says, I got it, King. Thank you. Uh, just from your free content, I've leveled up. That's what's up. Cool stuff. Keisha says she'll try it out. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. Um, da -dum 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 -ba -dum. So it's a love that carries corner. Uh, with Jules, <laughs> can you get him again? Uh, Jules is prepping, man, with with uh, with Bieber. They got some stuff coming up, so I'll try to get him again. But you know, like I don't like to, you know, what I'm saying if people come in and like they sacrifice their time the first couple times, like I really don't try to like keep bombarding them. You know what I mean? Because again, like just because he's a homie, he's a little homie of mine, or whatever. You don't want to like wear out that welcome. You know what I mean? Just in case I need him for something else, definitely again. You know what I mean? I come from a jazz town and people who play jazz seem to have a superiority over gospel and r and I play jazz vocabulary and so I don't feel like I need anything else. I would like to, you know what? I, people that come from a jazz background, I love y'all because y'all do think that, you know, you have this superiority over everybody else. I would love to sit down in a room with you and go lick for lick. And I promise you, cats that come from church, are probably some of the most versatile guitarists that play in the industry, period, just because they have a wealth of knowledge and how to navigate the fretboard and they're used to being in uncomfortable situations, which you have to navigate, you know? So I love you jazz players, but you guys, in my opinion, have a limited window because you're not, you're, a lot of times you don't like to get outside of your box. That's unlike other genres, R&B and gospel, neo soul, singer, songwriter, they're willing to get out of their box. So I love you, but if I had to choose a player, I'm not choosing a jazz player. Just off of present, it's just not happening. I've seen it too many times. I've seen too many times you put them in like a situation and they, they fold. They fold like a deck of cards. They fold like a folding chair. I love y'all, but you gotta call a thing a thing. Is it weekly lessons or daily lessons? Um, the lessons are up to you when you decide you wanna pick out the lessons. There's over 600 videos in there that you pick out, decide what you wanna do. I'm adding content to the site daily. And we have an update on let you know which videos have just been added, okay? Is it a good idea to improve multiple instruments at the same time? Diego, um, it depends on 
what you can do. Like some people can't digest that many um, instruments at one time. I say master one before you decide to like try to do a whole bunch. You know what I mean? Wish I grew up playing in church because I would be at a level I'm at now. Uh, so, you know, church for me, depending on what kind of church. Now, there's a lot of different kind of churches. So you got your storefront, you got your mega churches or whatever, depending on what kind of church you grew up in and the other musicians around you. Now, um, well, definitely can help you be well-rounded or it can kind of keep you in the same place where you're not really growing. So, you know, given what you got, you got to use what you got and just make you be what you want to be. Does it go in old? Keisha, I love the question. Um, the reason it does not guitarist has something different that they want. So let's just say I'm a guitarist and I'm looking to learn how to solo. I don't want to start from the beginning of knowing, because I already may already know how to do chord progressions. I don't need that video. So that's why you use the search tab to know specifically what you need help in, and that will help you out tremendously. Church guitars are saucy, definitely in the pocket. It's a great, great at impro improvising. Yep, definitely, for sure, like hands down. What do you think about Tim Stewart plans? Tim Stewart is my is the OG. That's my big bro. Tim Stewart, hands down, is one of the most phenomenal guitarists, y'all. His touch, his feel, the way he understands how to play chords and like riffs in between. Tim Stewart is, is the mastermind. You know what I'm saying? Keisha, like um, like like we just said, uh, there's roadmaps inside of Carrie's Camp, depending on your skill level, that will help point you in the direction of what you need. So use the roadmap. That's what it's there for. Thanks for answering my questions, you the man. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Word of advice, new campers don't give up. I hold my guitar every day and every time. Um, it says, even when there's limited time. That's the key to being successful is consistency. You can't do it like here and there and then expect to see growth. That's just not how it works. If you don't put any time in anything, you're not going to grow, whether that be school, whether that be a sport, whether that be like a new hobby. If you don't put any time and effort into it, you just can't wish it and be like, oh, I, well, I spent like two days out of a month and I think I should be. That's just not realistic. You know what I mean? Just signed up. Let's do work. I got you. I got you. Uh, thoughts on the Kemper as a session musician. I've never played it, but like I've seen some guys use it. So the thing about it, I tell people all the time when it comes to equipment, use what's successful for you, what, what works for you. What is this? Let's listen to this. Since I've been trying to learn how to what? Solo for years, but it seems like I don't get anywhere. So no bullies allowed. You need to go to Carrie's camp right now. You only got a couple more hours to sign up for $97 for six months. And I have when I say I have a roadmap that's going to show you how to really solo and to solo to the point that you can make that thing sing, um, you should definitely do it now. Go to K-E-R-R-Y-S, K-E-M-P dot com slash 100. And if you've ever seen me solo, you'll understand I teach you the same format and principles how to do that. Have I ever met Jerry Mosey? Yes, I met Jerry Mosey. Jerry Mosey is in Carrie's Corner. If you sign up to be a camper, you get to see the interview that I did with Jerry Mosey. I've met J-Mo. I know J Mo personally. I can call him on my phone. We got we got we got numbers and everything. You know what I'm saying? There's at least 25 lessons on soloing in, inside of Carrie's camp. I'm telling you, this stuff is really gonna help change your life if you really want to learn. Thanks, brother. No bullies allowed. I look. Listen, I'm gonna be looking for you. I'm gonna be looking for you. Any thoughts on Gibson guitars? Gibson guitars are cool. Um, and depending on which one you have, they are kind of heavy, but they're cool. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. I love that kid. How do you feel about ESPs and Limited? I feel like they're, you know, they're rock, great rock guitars, but I don't think it's like good for, you know what I'm saying, for R&B in my opinion. I'm excited to learn more from Carrie's Camp. I saw myself grow a lot during the quarantine. That's what's up, Jessica. Uh, so this will be even great to have access. Sweet. Mm -hmm. 
By the way, thanks for all your help and kindness. Been watching your videos on YouTube for a while. Sweet. Taylor or Martin? Taylor's, bro. I'm a Taylor guy. Ah. Do you guys know who Sir is? Thoughts on Gretsch guitars? Gretsch are made by Fenders. Uh... I probably wouldn't pick a Gretsch, but it's just, it is what it is. What's a good starting guitar? A, a Fender Squire. No, sir. All right, so Sir is an R&B singer that signed a TDE. Um, I can't afford a Helix. Would you suggest a Podgo? If that's all you can afford, William, that's what I, that's what you gotta get. It's definitely gonna be, it's night and day. It's like, you know, I, how can I put this? It's like, a skateboard versus like a BMW. They both get you to where you got to go, but one's a little bit better. It has a lot more features. So, all right, it says to all of those campers, oh, to all of those who are thinking about being a camper, Kerry is the best army guitars I've ever run across, at least for me. His lessons resonate with me, and I've noticed um, how to use musical music as a metaphor. That's what's up. It says if you're thinking about what are your thoughts about the Fender Ultra? I've never played it. Sir is dope, James. That's what's up. Yeah, I used to play for Sir. And I used to play for D Smoke and their other brother, Davion. And their cousin, Tiffany Goucher. And I used to play and do stuff with their uncle, Anthony Goucher. Andrew Goucher, I'm sorry. Darn, I just got a new Gretsch. Now, Elisha, like, that's like my personal preference. But if you like the guitar, that's what you should play. You know what I'm saying? Just because I don't personally have whatever, but you may not like the guitars that I like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the Goucher family is super musical, super dope. You know what I mean? I got guitars that you may not even like. You know what I mean? It is what it is. So it's it's personal preference. Like, you may not like the Jazz Master. I love the Jazz Master. You may not like PRS guitars. It just, it is what it is. You may not like, you know what I'm saying, Fender Strats with, like, stickers all over them. But everybody has a personal preference, you know what I mean? Just like shoes, just like cars, just like clothes. But they all essentially do the same job. Did you ever play at Mount Canyon Full Gospel Church in Birmingham? No. Um, so I started out playing at PHC, and then I was at the worship center for, like, six or seven years. And then my baby brother took over from me at the worship center. I was like, yo, you want somebody that looks just like me and plays like me? Here's the carbon copy. <laughs> so yeah, I played at the worship center. Never played at Mount Canaan. Indigo, if you want to learn them skills, you should join Carrie's camp, like, ASAP. You know what I'm saying? What are you up to? I'm up here um, letting you guys know, for those that all wanted to join Carrie's camp, that you can get in right now. We only have a limited window um, for this price point. In $97, you can join for six months. That's what I'm doing right now. And then I'm also going through some old songs and just trying to see, like, some old rehearsals. What other genres of music do you play? I play pop, I play singer-songwriter. Um, I'm trying to show my wife the videos of you playing with Clinton Baber singing in a hallway on the floor, I can't remember. Um, it's a Tyree song, what am I gonna do? Uh, what will be in your Christmas wish list? Mm. I don't know, man. I, I'm really blessed, man. I have almost everything that I want. I mean, I can't really think of anything, but that's a good question. Although you play a lot of R&B, do you ever play country? I play country. I play bluegrass as well. I mean, huge R&B and Neo Soul fan. Dope. That's what's up. That's what's up.
Thank you so much. Um, sweet, sweet. Rhythm circuit on the Jaguar is saucy. Sweet. LMA. Let me see. I'm trying to find this live arrangement. Ever listen to Thomas? Yeah, I've listened to him a couple of times. What do you think about his playing? It's, it's dope. Let me go right here. You got any tips on chord switching? Yeah, you should join Carrie's Camp and I'll show you exactly how to do it. <laughs> 2020 Teacher of the Year, I appreciate that. I've even played in LMA's rehearsal. I was helping her for us getting ready for a tour. Hey, Carrie, I'm a camper and I really enjoy your lessons. Thank you so much. Kevin, you're more than welcome. Um, do you put your strap on your guitar in case when starting it? Yeah, I do. I like to keep everything together. Who was that? That's LMA. It's like the um, live arrangement for one of the rehearsals. You want to hear it? Here y'all go. telling you some great days right there <sighs> yep Woo, dripping with the sauce appreciate it appreciate it playing along with this on piano right now saucy man love her yeah man i got a chance like i said we were in a, a rehearsal working on some some stuff getting ready for tour so just some of the stuff from the rehearsal this was like years ago. I, I, I'm not going out with her anytime soon because I was out with Keanu Lede, so. I think Mateus Asado is super dope, you know what I mean? He's another one of these like unicorns. I met Mateus um, years ago when he was out with Tori Kelly and I was out with Derulo. Um, so yeah, and I even called him for advice when I started to do the Tori thing when I was playing like gospel with her, so. Like, what's her vibe? Like, what does she think? You know what I mean? So. Yeah, Tokyo's, you should never, if you're going to practice, I tell all of my students to practice the way that you intend to play, right? If you hear in your own, and you're kind of figuring out, go through it or whatever. Once you finally get it, start practicing the way that you're going to play. So if you're going to stand up on the gig, practice standing up on the gig. If you're going to be rocking on the gig, practice rocking on the gig. If you got to do a step or whatever, Practice how you're going to play because you can't just will, wish it and be like, oh, when I get to the gig, I'm going to stand up. It's not going to work. You're going to be, whew, you will be exposed. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I love you guys so much. Um, if you're brand new to this channel, go ahead and click the subscribe. Also, for those that want to get into Carrie's Camp, listen, you have a limited window to get in at $97 for six months. Go to K-E-R-Y-S-K-E-M-P.com slash 100. All right, I love you guys, man. You guys be great.